So how do we decide what to teach in science class? And where does the debate come in? Uh, let's not confuse the ability to express opinions with scientific research and established explanations. If you look at the last 50 years, though, it is quite clear that there has been a significant warming of temperature. How do we deal with this challenge? I mean, just looking at solutions and what we can do in our everyday life is one thing, but when we're looking at our country, the United States, uh, what do we do in education? How do we, how do we counter this? And, and so one of the questions here was, what can we do in Minnesota? Um, both in terms of getting this in, in the state curriculum, both in terms of teaching at the elementary level or the middle school level. These are some questions that As, were here. Uh, I understand Minnesota is a little better than many other states. Um, climate literacy is part, as Will said, is part of, of your curriculum. Good for you. Uh, strengthen it. Students graduating from your schools need to have a clear idea of the solidity, the solidness of the science behind it, um, and also the, uh, the consequences. As Carl Sagan once said, you are welcome to your own opinions, but not to your own facts.